Hello everybody, this is Refresh and I'm here to bring you a battle between these two Guilds of Ravnica Planeswalker decks and the Face the Hydra Challenge deck from Theros. On the left we have Vraska's deck, on the right we have Ral's deck. And we will be playing with two hero cards per the rules of Face the Hydra. We will be using the Harvester which says you can tap to draw a card then discard a card. And we'll also be using the Warrior which says tap target creature you control gains haste until end of turn. Because I only have one of each of these cards, I'll be applying them to both decks simultaneously. We'll first be playing on normal mode against three Hydra Heads, and then we'll be playing on difficult mode afterwards. We'll start with seven cards apiece. Vraska draws a Rhizal Lurker, Crawl Raider, Prey Upon, Dead Rate, Forest, Forest, and Swamp. It's not the fastest start, but we do have some decent mana and something that we can get into on the third turn, so we'll go ahead and keep this. Ral draws 7. Ral draws a Muse Drake, Ral Staticaster, Mountain, Ral Staticaster, Mountain, Mountain, and Ral's Dispersal. This is short an island, and there's not a lot happening until turn 4, which I think is a little too slow for this deck. So we're going to ship this back and draw another 7, because this is multiplayer and we get one free mulligan. Alright, we'll draw 7 again. Ral has a Sonic Salt, Maximize Altitude, Chemistry's Insight, Ral's Dispersal, Muse Drake, Mountain, and Island. This is again fairly slow, so I think that we're actually going to ship this hand again and go to 6. Alright, now we have an Island, a Mountain, an Island, Maximize Altitude, Ral's Static Caster, Mountain, and Mountain. This is pretty bad and I don't think we can keep this either. I think we're going to have to go down to 5. Alright, now we have a Mountain, Island, Island, Sonic Salt, Mountain, Ral, Staticaster, Is it Gate, Guildgate. This is also just as bad as the last hand. It really doesn't do anything so I think we're going to have to go down to 4. Now we have a Mountain, Precision Bolt, Ralph's Dispersal, Hellkite Well, Command Storm, Fearless, Halberdier, and Sonic Assault. There's only one land here, and even though we do have a 3-drop, there's not really any reason to keep this hand. I think it's actually better to go down to 3 than to keep this hand, which is really sad. Alright, now we have an Izzet Guildgate, Hellkite Well, Ralph's Staticaster, Weed Dragonauts, Command the Storm, Mountain, and Command the Storm. We finally have a hand that we can keep, even though we're only going to keep three cards. So we're just going to get rid of everything that's expensive and keep the Wee Dragonauts, the Mountain, and everything else will go on the bottom because it's, we're never going to be able to cast it at this rate. Alright, because this is multiplayer, we will draw a card on our first turn. Vraska draws a Swamp and Ral draws a Ral's Dispersal for turn one. We will play a Swamp and we will play an Is It Guildgate tapped. We don't have any turn one plays, so we'll give the turn to the Hydra. The Hydra will cast the topmost card, which is torn between heads, tapped up to two heads. They don't untap during the Hydra's next untap step. Torn between heads deals five damage to each player. So we'll tap two heads, and then we'll take six damage from the remaining head and the torn between heads to go down to 14 each. At the end of the turn, we'll use the Harvester, Vraska will draw a forest and will discard the dead weight, and Ral will draw a precision bolt and will discard the Ral's dispersal. We'll untap. We'll draw. Vraska draws a swamp. Ral draws a mountain. We'll play the mountain, and we'll play a forest, and then we have nothing else that we can do, so we'll pass the turn to the Hydra. The Hydra will not untap these during this turn because of Torn Between Heads, and we'll cast the topmost card, which is Swallow the Hero Hole. Each player exiles a creature he or she controls until the Hydra's next turn. When a head leaves the battlefield, return the exiled cards to the battlefield under their owner's control. Since we have no creatures, this basically does nothing. We take one damage from the remaining untapped head to go down to 13 each, and then at the end of the turn, we'll use the Harvester again. Vraska will draw a Spinal Centipede, and we'll discard the Prey Upon. Ral will draw a Mountain, and we'll discard a Mountain. And then we'll untap, we'll draw. Vraska draws an Attendant of Vraska. Ral draws a Hellkite Whelp. 
We'll go ahead and play the mountain over here and we'll tap all three, tapping the Gilgit for blue to play the Wee Dragonauts. And then Vraska will play one of the swamps and we'll tap all three of these in order to play the Attendant of Vraska. And then we have a 3-3, three, three, so we'll tap the warrior to give the Attendant haste and then we'll attack one of the Hydra heads, killing it and then getting us two life apiece to go back up to 15. And then we'll reveal two cards to see if there are any new heads. There are no new heads, we'll put these over here, and then we will go to the Hydra's turn. The Hydra will cast the topmost card, which is a Savage Bigger Head. It says at the beginning of the Hydra's end step, reveal the top card of the Hydra's library and the Hydra casts that card. So now we're gonna cast another card which is grown from the stump, put exactly two cards named Hydra Head onto the battlefield from the Hydra's graveyard. If you can't reveal cards from the top of the Hydra's library until you reveal a head card, put that card onto the battlefield and the rest into the Hydra's graveyard. So we're gonna reveal until we find a head card because there's only one in the graveyard. And there it is, it goes onto the battlefield. And then we'll take one, two, three, four, five damage to go down to 10 apiece. And then at the end of the turn, we'll use the Harvester. Vraska will draw a Dowser of Light and we'll discard the Crawl Raider. Ral will draw a Fearless Halberdier, and we'll discard the Hellkite Whelp, and then we will untap, and then we'll draw. Vraska draws an Iron Shell Beetle, and Ral draws a Island. We will play the Island, and then Ral will tap three, and play the Fearless Halberdier, Vraska will play another forest, and then we'll tap two to play the Iron Shell Beetle. The Iron Shell Beetle is 1 1 intersect, and it says when Iron Shell Beetle enters the battlefield, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on a target creature. We're going to choose the Attendant of Vraska. So, and then we're going to tap the Warrior to give the Fearless Halberdier haste. So now we have four power here and four power here. We're gonna attack all of them into the Savage Vigor Head to defeat the Savage Vigor Head. It says Hero's Reward. When Savage Vigor Head leaves the battlefield, each player gains four life and draws a card. So we'll gain four life each to go up to 14, and we'll each draw a card. Frasca draws a Crawl Raider, and Ral draws a Precision Bolt. And then we'll reveal two cards from the Hydra's deck to see if there are any new heads. There is one new Hydra head, and then we'll pass the turn to the Hydra. The Hydra will cast the topmost card, which is another Hydra head. We'll take five damage from all the assembled heads to go down to nine each. And then at the end of the Hydra's turn, we'll use the Harvester. Vraska draws a Golgari Guildgate and will promptly discard that Golgari Guildgate. Ral will draw an Erratic Cyclops and will discard one of the Precision Bolts. And then we'll untap, and then we'll draw. Vraska draws a forest, and Ral draws a Ral's Staticaster. Vraska will play a swamp, and then Ral will tap all four to play the Staticaster. And Vraska will tap all five to play the Dowser. And then we will tap the Warrior to give the Dowser haste. We will attack with the Attendant, the Dowser, the, and the Halberdier into three of the Hydra Heads, defeating them. Each of them will get us two life apiece, so we'll each get six life apiece, taking us up to 15. And then we'll reveal six cards to see if there are any new heads. There are no new heads. And then we'll pass the turn to the Hydra. The Hydra will cast the topmost card, which is a Ravenous Brute Head. The three heads will deal four damage apiece to take us down to 11 each. And then at the end of the turn, we'll use the Harvester. Frasco will draw a Prey Upon and will discard the Prey Upon. And Ral will draw a Goblin Electromancer and then will discard the Erratic Cyclops. And then we'll untap. And then we'll draw. Vraska draws a Spinal Centipede, and Ral draws a Precision Bolt. Vraska will play a Forest, and Ral will tap a Mountain and an Island, and play the Goblin Electromancer. Vraska will tap all six mana to play both of the Spinal Centipedes. They enter the battlefield as three twos. 
and then we will tap the warrior to give one of them haste. We will attack the ravenous brute head with the fearless halberdier and the hasted spinal centipede. We will attack one of the hydra heads with the dowser, and we will attack the last hydra head with the statocaster to defeat all of the hydra heads. We'll gain 6 life to go up to a 17. We'll each draw a card. Vraska draws a Glow Spore Shaman and Ral draws a Muse Drake. And then we'll reveal 6 cards to see if there are any new heads. There are 2 new heads. We have 1 Ravenous Brute Head and 1 Hydra Head. And then we'll pass the turn to the Hydra. The Hydra will cast the topmost card, which is a Unified Lunge. Unified Lunge deals X damage to each player, where X is the number of heads on the battlefield. There are two heads on the battlefield, so we'll be taking two damage, plus we'll be taking an additional three damage from the assembled heads to take five damage, taking us back down to 12. And then at the end of the turn, we'll use the Harvester again. Vraska will draw a Bars and Bats, and then we'll discard the Rhizome Lurcher. Ral will draw an Island, and then we'll discard a Precision Bolt and then we will untap. And then we'll draw. Vraska draws a forest. Raoul draws an island. We'll play an island. We'll play a forest. And then we'll attack the Hydra Head with the Fearless Halberdier. This should have cast instead of this. And then we will attack the Ravenous Brute Head with two Spinal Centipedes to defeat all the heads. We'll gain 4 life and draw a card each. 4 life will take us back up to 16. We'll draw a card each. Vraska draws a Forest. Ral draws a Chemister's Insight. We will reveal 4 cards from the Hydra deck to see if there are any new heads. There is 1 Ravenous Brute Head. We'll discard the rest. And then on the second main phase, we will tap 4 mana here to play the Muse Drake, which will draw us a card when it enters the battlefield. And we will play six of the assembled manas here to play the Bartisan Bats and the Glow Spore Shaman. And the Glow Spore Shaman will cost three cards to be put from the library into the graveyard per its ability, which is a Beast Whisper, a Rhizal Mercature, and a Crawl Raider. And then we may put a land from the graveyard on top of our deck, but we actually don't want the Golgari Guildgate since we have plenty of land, so we'll just go ahead and leave that as is. And then we'll pass the turn to the Hydra. The Hydra will cast the topmost card, which is a Unified Lunge. deals X damage to each player, where X is the number of heads on the battlefield. There is one head on the battlefield, so we'll take one damage plus two more from the Elite Head to go down to 13 each. And then we'll use the Harvester, Vraska will draw a Swamp and discard a Forest. Rao will draw a Goblin Electromancer and will discard a Mountain. And then we'll untap. And then we'll draw. Vraska draws a Swamp. Rao draws a Mountain. We'll play an Island over here and a Swamp over here. We will attack the Ravenous Brute Head with both of the Spinal Centipedes. To finish it off, we'll gain 2 life apiece and draw a card, taking us up to 15. And Vrasco will draw a Forest, while Ral will draw an Is It Guildgate. And then we will reveal 2 cards to see if there are any new heads. There are 2 Hydra heads. And then on the second main phase, we will tap 1 Island and 1 Mountain for Ral to play a Goblin Electromancer. So now there is a discount of 2 on all instants and sorceries. And then we will tap 3 mana for Vraska to play the Crowl Raider. And then we will pass the turn to the Hydra. The Hydra will cast the topmost card, which is a Ravenous Brute Head. We'll take 4 damage from the assembled heads to go down to 11 each. And then at the end of the turn we'll use the Harvester. Vraska will get a dead weight and then we'll discard a forest. Ral will draw a island and we'll discard the Is It Guildgate. And then at the end of the turn we'll also cast the Chemister's Insight for Ral, drawing two cards. We draw an Is It Guildgate and a Vidalcan Mesmerist. We will spend two more mana 
and discard the Is It Guildgate to cast the Chemistry's Insight again, exiling it to draw two more cards. Ral will draw a Fearless Halberdier and a Fire Urchin, and then we'll untap. Then we'll draw. Vraska draws a Vraska's Stone Glare, and Ral draws a Fearless Halberdier. We'll attack each Hydra Head with one Spinal Centipede apiece, and the Ravenous Brute Head will take a Fearless Halberdier and a Ral's Staticaster, and that will defeat all of the assembled heads. We will gain six life apiece, and we will draw a card each, taking us back up to 17, and we'll draw one card each. Vraska draws a Wild Ceratoc, and Ral draws a Mountain. We haven't played a land this turn, so we will play a Swamp and a Mountain. And then we'll reveal six cards to see if there are any new heads. There are no new heads, and so the Guilds of Ravnica Planeswalker decks win against the Hydra on normal difficulty. We'll be right back for hard mode. Now for hard mode, we have four Hydra heads assembled there, and we'll see how well we can do. The Planeswalker decks will start with seven cards apiece. Vraska draws an Attendant of Vraska, Forest, Swamp, Lawless Giant, Forest, Attendant of Vraska, and Prey Upon. This is admittedly a little bit slower than we'd like, but we do have some three drops and land, so we're going to keep this anyways. Ral will draw seven. Ral has an Island, Command Storm, Island, Island, Precision Bolt, Mountain, and Ral's Dispersal. There are no permanents here, and we can't really keep this hand, so we'll go down to six. Ral has a Fearless Halberdier, Island, Precision Bolt, Mountain, Is it Guildgate, Ral, Caller, of Storms and Erratic Cyclops. Because this is a multiplayer, we're actually going to keep this hand of seven. We will keep it on the strength of having a Fearless Halberdier. Because it's a multiplayer, we'll also draw for our first turn. So Frasca draws a Beast Whisperer, and Rao will draw a Mountain. We'll play the Is It Guildgate over here, and we will play a Forest over here. And then we will pass the turn to the Hydra. The Hydra will cast the topmost card, which is a Ravenous Brute Head. We'll be taking 6 damage from the assembled heads to go down to 14 each. And then at the end of the turn we'll use the Harvester. Vraska will draw an Attendant of Vraska and then we'll discard the Prey Upon. And Ral will draw a Ral's Dispersal and we'll discard Ral Collar of Storms because we can just get back with the Dispersal later. Then we'll untap, we'll draw. Vraska draws a Rhizome Lurcher, and Ral will draw a Precision Bolt. We'll play a Mountain over here, we'll play a Swamp over here, and we still don't have any plays for this turn, so we'll use the Harvester to see if we can find any 2-drops. Vraska draws a Dead Weight, and then we'll discard the Dead Weight. Ral will draw a, is it Gilgate? and then we'll discard the Erratic Cyclops because it doesn't really do anything unless you're casting non-creature spells and there's not a lot that this deck actually wants to cast against a challenge deck. We still don't have anything that we can cast. We'll pass the turn to the Hydra. The Hydra will cast the topmost card, which is Swallow the Hero Hole. There are no creatures to exile, so this does nothing. And then we'll take another six damage from the assembled heads to go down to eight. And then we will untap, we'll draw. Vraska draws a forest. Ral draws a island, we'll play the island, we'll play the forest, we'll tap three here to play an intendant of Vraska, and we'll tap three here to play the fearless halberdier. We'll go ahead and tap the warrior to give the halberdier haste, and we will attack into one of the hydra heads to kill it. We'll gain two life apiece to go up to ten each, and then we'll reveal two cards to see if there are any new heads. There are no new heads. And then we will pass the turn to the Hydra. The Hydra is going to cast the topmost card, which is Disorienting Glowers. Players can't cast spells until the Hydra's next turn, so we should remember that we can't cast any spells. We'll take five damage apiece to go down to five each. And then we'll use the Harvester. Vraska draws an Iron Shell Beetle, and Rao will draw a Mountain. We will discard the Is It Guildgate, and we will discard the Iron Shell Beetle. And then we'll untap. And we'll draw. Frasca draws a dead weight, and Rao will draw a Vidalcan Mesmerist. We'll play another mountain over here, 
and we will play a forest over here. So because we can't cast any new spells, we will attack with the Halberdier and the Attendant into two of the Hydra Heads each to kill them, giving us four life apiece to take us to nine, and then we'll reveal four cards to see if there are any new heads. There is a Savage Vigor Head. Savage Vigor Head says at the beginning of the Hydra's end step, reveal the top card of the Hydra's library and the Hydra cast that card. We'll discard the rest, and then since we can't cast anything else, we will return to the Hydra's turn. The Hydra will cast the Talon's card, which is torn between heads, tap up to two heads. They don't want to tap, and we take five damage apiece to take us to four each, and then we're going to cast the next card because of the Savage Vigor Head. And the next card is a Noxious Hydra Beth. We either take 5 damage each or destroy each tapped non-head creature. Taking 5 damage will kill us, so we'll destroy the only creatures that we have. And then at the end of the turn, we'll take 1 more damage from the Hydra head to take us to 3 each. And then we'll use the Harvester. Vraska draws a Crawl Raider, and Ral draws a Chemist's Insight. We will discard the Deadweight, and we will discard a Precision Bolt. Then we'll untap, we'll draw, Vraska draws a forest, and Ral draws a Hellkite Whelp. We will play an island, and we will play a forest, and then we'll play Ral's Dispersal over here, removing the Savage Vigor Head to its owner's hand, which will essentially kill it, and then we'll take the Ral from the graveyard into our hand. When this goes to the graveyard, we'll gain four life apiece to take us up to seven each, and we'll draw a card. Vraska draws a Kral Raider, and Ral draws a Fearless Halberdier. Ral is out of mana and can't do anything else, but Vraska has five mana, and we'll spend three of it to cast a Vraska's Attendant. We'll then use the Warrior to give it haste, and it will attack into the Hydra Head, killing the Hydra Head, getting us two life apiece to take us up to nine each and then we will reveal two cards to see if there aren't any new heads, plus another two cards for the head we previously destroyed for four cards. There are no new heads. Then we will pass the turn to the Hydra. The Hydra cannot tap this head. It will cast the topmost card, which is Neck Tangle. If there are five more heads on the battlefield, there are not. Otherwise, reveal the top card of the Hydra's library, and the Hydra casts that card. So the Hydra casts the next card, which is a Shrieking Titan Head, at the beginning of the Hydra's end step, each player discards a card. So it's now the end step. Each player is going to discard a card. We will discard one of the Kral Raiders and the Precision Bolt. And then we will also take two damage from the Shrieking Titan Head to go back down to seven. And then we'll use the Harvester. Vraska will draw a Kral Raider. And Ral will draw an Izzet Guildgate. We will discard the Guildgate. And we will discard another Kral Raider. And then we will untap. And then we'll draw. Vraska draws a forest, and Ral draws a sonic assault. We'll play a mountain over here, and we'll play a forest over here. There are four creatures in the graveyard, which means that if we cast the Rise of Nurture, it'll enter the battlefield with four counters, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to tap four mana, cast the Rise of Nurture. It uses its undergrowth effect and enters the battlefield with four counters, making it a 6-6. Six, six. We'll use the warrior to give it haste, and then we will attack the Shrieking Titan Head with both of these to kill the Shrieking Titan Head. We'll gain four life apiece to go up to 11, and then draw a card each. Vraska draws a Deadweight, Ral draws a Leapfrog, and then Ral will cast with six mana a Leapfrog and a Fearless Halberdier, and then we'll pass the turn to the Hydra. The Hydra will untap and cast the topmost card, which is a Distract the Hydra. Each player may sacrifice a creature. Each player who sacrificed a creature this way chooses the head and taps it. Each player who didn't sacrifice a creature loses three life. We'll go ahead and lose three life apiece to take us to eight, plus another two from the Savage Trigger Head to take us to six each. And then at the end of the turn, we'll use the Harvester. Vraska draws a Spinal Centipede and will discard a Deadweight. Ral will draw a Mountain and we'll discard a Sonic Assault, then we'll untap, and then we'll draw. Vraska draws a Swamp, Ral draws a Ral's Staticaster, we'll play the Mountain here, we'll play the Swamp here, 
and then we will attack the Ravenous Brutehead with the Rhizo Lurcher, killing it. We'll gain two life apiece to go back up to eight, and we'll draw a card each. Vraska draws a, another Rhizo Lurcher, and Ral draws a Mountain. We'll reveal two cards to see if there are any new heads. There is a Ravenous Brutehead, and then Vraska will cast the Beast Whisperer, and then we'll cast a Spinal Centipede. When we cast the Spinal Centipede, we will draw a card because of Beast Whisperer's ability, and that is a Defkaran Dissident. And then Ral will cast Caller of Storms. It enters the battlefield with four loyalty counters, and we'll immediately plus one him to five to draw us a card. Ral draws an island. And with the attack step done, we'll pass the turn to the Hydra. The Hydra will cast the topmost card, which is Unified Lunge. It deals X damage. And there's one head, so we'll take one plus two more damage each to take three damage to go to five. And then at the end of the turn, we'll use the Harvester. Vraska will draw a Swamp and we'll discard a Crowl Raider. Rao will draw a, an Island and we'll discard the Vidokin Mesmerist. And then we'll untap. And then we'll draw. Vraska draws a Swamp. Ral draws a direct current, we will play an island, we will play a swamp. We will attack the Ravenous Brutehead again with the Rhizome Lurcher to kill it. We'll gain two life apiece to go up to seven each, and we'll draw a card each. Frasca draws a swamp, Ral draws a Fearless Halberdier. We will reveal two cards to see if there are any new heads. There is a Hydra Head. We no longer have an attack step, so we'll just prepare for the next turn. We'll tick up Ral to six to draw a card. Ral now draws an Is It Guildgate. We have eight mana, so we will play the Hellkite Whelp and the Fearless Halvadir. And Vraska will spend her seven mana to play the Lotlith Giant. And then when it enters the battlefield, we will deal damage to the opponent for each creature card in our graveyard. We have five creatures in our graveyard, so we'll deal five damage to the Hydra, which will be redirected towards the Hydra Head to finish it off. We'll gain two more life each to go to nine apiece, and then we'll reveal two cards to see if there are any new heads. There is a Ravenous Fruit Head, and then we'll pass the turn to the Hydra. The Hydra will cast the topmost card, which is Hydra's Impenetrable Hide. Each head gains indestructible until the end of Hydra's next turn. We will take two damage apiece to go down to seven, and at the end of the turn, we'll use the Harvester. Vraska will draw a Swamp. Raoul will draw an Island. We will discard a Swamp, and we will discard a Is It Guildgate. And then we'll untap, and then we'll draw. Vraska draws a Forest. Raoul draws a Goblin Electromancer. We'll play an Island. We'll play a Swamp, and then we will attack the Ravenous Brutehead with the Rhizome Lurcher again, killing the Ravenous Brutehead, taking us back up to nine each, and then drawing us a card each. Vraska will gain a Bounty of Might. Rao will gain a Fire Urchin. We'll reveal two cards to see if there are any new heads. There are no new heads, and so the Guilds of Ravnica Planeswalker decks defeat the Hydra and win the day. This was a little bit of a closer game. There was a point where the game could have gone either way, but we managed to get there. Ral's deck does not seem to do very well against these challenge decks because of the lack of permanence. And so a lot of times want to get rid of his spells in order to because they are one for ones against the opponent's creatures, whereas permanence can kill more than one creature at a time. And so it does seem a bit on the weaker side. Let me know if I made any major play errors or rules errors and if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more such videos, hit subscribe. Next time, I'll be back with a battle between these two Planeswalker decks and the Battle of the Horde challenge deck from Born of the Gods. Until then, this is Refresh, and thanks for watching.